Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be doing a very requested video, my makeup collection. I think you guys ask so much because I always have this in the background. So we are going to go through each and every drawer today. I'm probably not going to pick out each product individually because we would be here all day. But you'll get the general idea of what is in my collection, products I love, products I don't love, how I organize them all. If you're curious to see my beauty room, I will link my beauty room tour down below that I posted last year. It's a lot cooler cleaner than it is now uh, and I think that's about it when I move my beauty room is going to look very different than it is now aka I will not have a beauty room <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy these last few weeks with my room and let's get into the makeup collection okay, so I figured we might as well just get into the main part portion of where I store my makeup so basically this is two separate shelving units from Ikea. So we have one and then we have one that is double the size. If you look on Ikea though, they do sell one big unit that's not two separate ones. I just, I started off with this and then I wanted another one. But yeah, love these, they're great. And then these acrylic boxes are from the container store. Now these are very, very pricey. I slowly built up each section here. I would like fill up one section and then over the years I've been able to build it up to what it is now but I'm warning you now it's not a cheap system. I absolutely love it but it ain't cheap. These drawers are also from Ikea. They're just additions that you can put in and I love these. I'm almost considering if these weren't so expensive I would have put drawers all throughout this to keep everything looking clean. I love these too much to do that. And then at the bottom, let me make sure you guys can see, these are very junky. <laughs> I need to go through this, but these are also baskets that you can get from Ikea. So I'm not gonna go through these baskets too much. Let me get a little closer because basically these are mostly giveaway items. So this first one right here, has all of my candles. It's really, really heavy. And then kind of on top, I have giveaway stuff. I have a lot of makeup I need to give away before I move. And then down here again, it gets really crazy, you guys. <laughs> I'm super duper grateful that I have all of this stuff to give away to you guys. I can't show you everything that's in here, but these are all stuff that I'm gonna put together a few giveaway boxes for, but that's where I keep candles and giveaway stuff down here, so not my makeup. So let's start off with what is along the top. Honestly, over the year, it's gotten a little junky, so when I move, I'm going to actually declutter a lot of this stuff and recycle it. But right here is my favorite storage system for some of my Pat McGrath products. Not all of them. This is from Amazon. It's amazing. And in here, I have some of my lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, my foundation, my primer, whatever could fit in here from Pat McGrath, I have in here. I love it. It keeps all of my products really clean. Highly recommend this storage system. I am thinking about getting a couple more of these because they are great. As we move along here, I have a lot of my luxury boxes. I'm super tacky like that, but I can't help it. I have my beautiful Florisys cosmetics. I have some ZC stuff. Oh my gosh, take a look. You can see as we go back, I have a Gucci bag. Who remembers this from Too Faced? I can't believe I still have this. This is from before Too Faced was terrible. Cutest thing ever. I don't think I'm going to bring this with me because it just takes up space, but I'm definitely leaving this in my parents' house. And then I have this lip gloss holder, which holds my Pat McGrath lip glosses, which are my favorite gloss formula. I reach for these all the time. And I just have various boxes and other things that will need to be decluttered for my move, but love it. Honestly, there isn't too much organization of where each product is placed where or section-wise. It's basically whatever drawer the product fit in the best. So we are gonna start off just so you can see with the top row here while my tripod is nice and high right here at this set. So the first drawer that we have has some oil products. I recently decluttered a lot of oil products. So right now I only have my ESM Pro Mixing Medium and then my Haley's Beauty Facial Oil. Top row here, I have all of my Kaleidos Lip Clay Labs. The order of these drawers doesn't make sense. 
It's just wherever they fit best, and these fit the best here. I love this formulation. Let's do this drawer right here. I apologize, my camera tripod is not tall enough, so you can really see deeply in each drawer, but I'll talk about everything in here for you. I have all of my Kylie Cosmetics blushes up front. I have Tarte Makeup by Mario. I have Elf in here, Max. Sigma, Kimchi Sheet, Cover FX, Ofra, Nabla blushes, Wonder 2 blushes. So these are more high-end. I have a few that also snuck in here. Oh, this view is terrible. Hold on. <laughs> here you go. I have a few more that snuck in here. That's kind of where this price range is. And then this next drawer right here has more affordable blushes, but I also have some other ones thrown in here because that's where they fit. Like I have my Huda Glowish right here, but <laughs> that's where these fit. But I have my Ome in the back. This is one of my all-time favorite drugstore blushes. Milani, I have some more e.l.f. here. Lots of e.l.f. actually. Flower Beauty, Essence, Milani, all of my Burt's Bees blushes, Maman, Suwasu. So mostly my affordable blushes, but based on fit, some others snuck in here. I love my blushes. I love this drawer. So that's what it is in here. Okay, you guys are gonna start getting a better view as we go lower here. These are my high-end highlighters. So I have my Maven Beauty. I love this. This is amazing. This is one of my new favorite highlights from Florisys. It's absolutely stunning. I have Ilia, which is amazing. Natasha Denona, Persona, REM Beauty, Vesca, underrated brand, uh, Artist Couture, Jouer. One of my also new discoveries is Beauty Pie. This is an amazing highlight. And then along here, you can buy these inserts here. Uh, but I have Makeup by Mario, Milk, MAC, Fenty, um, Sephora brand, Jaclyn Cosmetics, Nabla, Kylie is back here, and Ofra. So these are more or less my high-end highlights. And then below, I have my luxury blushes. So let's get a look at this drawer. You guys are gonna love this one. I have these inserts running all the way in here and it creates such a pretty presentation. So of course, all of my Pat McGrath is towards the front. And then I have everything. I have my Dior blushes, which are probably one of my favorite luxury blushes. I have Natasha Denona, more Dior. I have an Hourglass. Patrick Ta, Laura Mercier, Sean Takai has beautiful blush formulas, my Tom Ford blushes, Chanel's towards the back, I have M Cosmetics. These are basically my top of the line favorite, favorite blushes ever. I feel like all of these brands have the most superb blush formulations on the market. So that is what we have all up in here. That's where I store that. Okay. So that is all that's in the first section. We're gonna move over while my tripod is nice and tall and we're gonna go into the next section here. I'm sorry, I wish I could angle this better. <laughs> so this top drawer right here is like my ColourPop drawer. So in here I have a lot of ColourPop stuff. Yeah, I love ColourPop. I have the Hello Kitty collection here. A lot of these five pan palettes, which are really, really great for travel. So I keep these around. I got a lot in holiday sets over here. Have my shadow sticks from ColourPop here. And then back in this upper right corner, I have a lot of the quads. No, I have not tried all of these. I just love the way they look so uniform. So I love this drawer. I love that it's my ColourPop drawer. So that's what sticks nice on top. We'll keep it moving. So these are my stick contours for the most part. So I have everything from Makeup by Mario, Haley's Beauty, Wet n Wild. Here's more Haley's Beauty. Westman Atelier. This one is awesome. This is a Armani concealer that is the color of a bronzer for me. I have my Armani A contour, and this is a squeezy tube Shantikai gel bronzer, which is also amazing. So that's what's in this little guy. And then in this next drawer right next to it, these are some stick blushes that look really nice and uniform together. So I have all of my nude sticks here. Love my nude sticks. They look nice and dirty from use. 
And then these are my Chanel bomb sticks, stick blushes, all of that. So these just fit nicely in here, so I have them all in here. All right, this is my cream blush drawer. So most of these are in pot form. So I've collected a lot of cream blushes because they're so trendy right now and everybody wants to know what the best cream blushes are. Up towards the front, I have my Tower 28. These are great for everyday wear. They're super easy to use. They're not the most long wearing, but for everyday, they're amazing. I have my Honest Beauty. This is a great affordable option. Milani is also a great drugstore brand to go to for cream blushes. I have a Westman Atelier. It's not a cream blush. Let me show you. It's a cream highlight that looks like a blush. Honestly, it's more of a highlight, but it fit in this drawer. I have my Fenty's back here, which are a really great emollient formula. My Beauty Pie Pots are really great. Oh, I really like everything in these drawers. These MAC blushes are a really phenomenal, phenomenal formulation. I have a couple of those back here. My Patrick Ta, you guys know these are a top formulation for me as well. Kosas has a great formulation. Melt, all of these I like. I even have my e.l.f. tucked back here. I like the e.l.f. They're great and affordable. NARS, I'm not a big fan of the NARS one personally. Rare Beauty, I don't like that one. Not a fan of the Rare Beauty, but these are all like kind of my pot form cream blushes. And then if we move over to the drawer here, I have like my stick form squeezy tube blushes. This drawer, as you can see, is kind of a hot mess. Let's see how we can get through it. I have my Westman Atelier right here, Iconic London, Alani, Ilia. I have Grande, which makes your cheeks tingle. This is one of my favorite, Daniel Sandler. Underrated product, it's beautiful. I have my Milk. Lots of Rare Beauty ones running throughout here. Lots of Ilia sticks. These terrible Natasha Denona. Is this iconic? No, ABH stick blush. My Armani blush. Ooh, these are really nice. The Iconic Londons. And they're the ones sitting in the back. So I have my Danessa Myricks blush. I have a few shades of the Flower Beauty. These are a really great blush formulation. I have some ColourPop blush sticks, which I don't love the ColourPop, but I, I like to have them for reference. And then a Chantecaille Cheek Gelée. You know, I am more of a powder blush girl, but this video is probably convincing you otherwise. <laughs> but lots of cream liquid options I have for blushes. And then as we move down here, first drawer, I have more blushes, as if I needed more, right? But this drawer right here, uh, it looks so uniform and beautiful, right? So most of these are going to be ColourPop. Towards the front, I have all of my Odin's Eye. They fit in so nicely with all of my ColourPop blushes that I've collected. ColourPop has such a great formula. I love the colors that they come up with. Most of these are from limited edition collections, so they have really cute packaging. I keep them in their box. Never getting rid of these. We even have the really cute Valentine's Day collections. It's hiding down here. It looks like I have a Jaclyn Cosmetics blush and then towards the back, oh geez, I have my Kaleidos blushes. So that is what is in here. Love this drawer. It's packed nice and tight. We like that. And then this drawer was kind of empty for a while. I'll be honest, I've been throwing random things in here. So I have my Kaleidos Contour Duos. I didn't know where to put them. I have a Dior blush in here that didn't fit with my luxury blushes, but I hate this one, so it didn't deserve to be there. I have a couple of Chic Me blushes. These are new to my collection, so they don't really have a permanent home yet, but they're very, very pretty. So that's kind of like a random drawer. So that sums it up for this particular cube. We're gonna go into the last super tall cube and then visuals will be easier from there. Okay, so I have a lot of little mini drawers here. So here is like my eye primer and under eye corrector drawer. It's a mixture of both. So I have everything from Milk Makeup, Ulta Beauty, Too Faced, Kaleidos, Urban Decay, ABH, Sigma, all of the different let me actually get this down so you can see. Oh, it looks messy when I do this, but I want you to see the drawers. 
So all of these different eye primers. And then I also have under eye corrector since that is also a primary step. So, you know, I have my NARS, I have my Becca RIP, I have a Milani under eye corrector. So basically eye base products that go down before the other pro eye products are going to be in here. This drawer is building up. I could probably get rid of some stuff. Just gonna pull out the drawers next to them and hold them down here so you can see. These are like liquid highlight products. I'm not a big fan of liquid highlights, so I don't have a ton. I have a Rare Beauty, an Ilia, a Milk Makeup Stick Highlight, ColourPop Stick Highlight, Grande Cosmetics Highlight. There's none that I'm really particularly in love with here. I do like the Milk a lot. I like the Ilia. The others might be questionable. And then in the little drawer next to that, this is kind of random <laughs> cream products. So I have the Beauty Pie Luminizing Wand. Honestly, this is one of my favorite liquid luminizers, which is saying a lot because I hate them. This one is super good. Uh, the Iconic London is also pretty nice. And then I also didn't know where to put these, but I have my Iconic London little contour pots. So let me show you how they work. Don't know what is making me want to show you, but <laughs> so you lift it and here's the powder and then you lift the bottom layer and here is the cream. These are great, but yep, that's the top drawers. Okay, let me show you. So the one below, I just showed you these. Let's pull this one out to save my arm. We're going back down. So these are some classic OG Pat McGrath products that probably need decluttered. I'm an OG Pat fan when it comes to the makeup line. I have my Intensifies one. The rest, I have some good old potted glitters from Pat McGrath. Yeah, I bet you didn't even know she had glitters. Look, and they're all in like sample packaging. And then I have these... I don't even, pigments is what she calls them. They're really, really cool. And then in these, I have probably some at this point dried up cream eyeshadows, but I can't get myself to get rid of them. I just feel like uh, one day in the future, it's gonna be a fun video to go back to this, but these are like one of the first things that Pat McGrath launched. So I still have them. We're going to the concealer drawers. So this drawer right here is where I keep my drugstore and affordable concealers. And then the next drawer I'm gonna pull out is this one, but let me save my arm here. So in this drawer, I have lots of makeup revolution options. I think they're great and affordable ones. And then of course, everybody knows e.l.f. has a really great affordable concealer. Flower Beauty is great. All of these I really like for the most part. I have a lot of the Revlon Skin Awaken concealers. Milani probably has my favorite drugstore concealer formula. I have ColourPop. Maybelline, this one is a, okay, it's not my favorite. The Super Stay and Haley's ColourPop. So these are my affordable concealers. Nothing crazy. And then we have my high-end concealers. I also have Catrice here because I couldn't fit them in the drugstore. But uh, yeah, I've accumulated some concealers. Amongst my favorite are, is the Too Faced Born This Way. The Dior Forever Skin Correct is a favorite. ABH concealer is amazing. Tom Ford concealer is amazing. Uh, I have Makeup Forever, Iconic London, One Size, Tarte, KKW. The list goes on and on here. Ilia, Fenty, Hourglass. And then towards the back, I have like the smaller sized concealers. So I try to buy the travel sizes when I can of products. So you'll see I have a baby of the Tarte crease list. Baby NARS, Baby Benefit. These are not babies, but I love this Fenty concealer right here. My NARS soft matte, so lots of lots of concealers that I love. All right, so here are my powder drawers, which are just now starting to overflow. <laughs> and let me show you here. So most of these are my pressed powders and then I have a few loose powders that are my favorite that I was able to fit in. So powder foundations are more towards this direction. So I have J-Cat, which is very full coverage. I have my beloved it Cosmetics Powder Foundations. I've used It Cosmetics Powder Foundations for years. This Jouer one is really nice if you want to glow. I have a Maybelline Powder Foundation. This KVD that I don't like powder foundation. My Gucci powder. My Wonder 2, which is nice. One of my favorites is the Makeup Forever. 
And then I have an old Maybelline, which is really beautiful, better skin. They don't sell it anymore, so I haven't been able to get rid of it. And then more towards the center here, it's a little mixed, but I have more setting press powder. So you'll see I have my Jaclyn Cosmetics towards the front, my Bare Minerals, which are new additions. Dior is here. Nabla is one of my favorite setting powders ever. I have a Floracist setting powder, Kosas, uh, Sephora. This one is really beautiful as well. I have some Elf, everything, you guys. Armani, Huda Beauty, Hourglass, and my Fenty powder foundation is up here. This is one of my favorite powder foundations. And then more so on this side are some of my favorite loose setting powders. So towards the back, Huda has one of the best loose setting powders, the Pound Cake. And then Maybelline Fit Me is one of the best setting powders from the drugstore, in my opinion. I also have Orsay. This is where it fit my Pat McGrath. You guys know I can't live without these. And Chantecai. So that's everything in this powder drawer. Let me refill. And then in the bottom powder drawer, it's mostly pressed powders. Pressed powders seem to come in very, very large packaging. <laughs> so I have Pat McGrath. I have Elf Milk Makeup. One of my favorites is the La Mer, but it's so expensive. I don't use it very often. Only on special occasions. Jacqueline Cosmetics, this terrible beauty blender, and this terrible Tatcha. I don't like these. I have Mac and Patrick Star powder, this which is no longer sold, but it is a very nice powder. We have Fenty here, which I don't love, but I bring it to travel because it's smaller. I have a new Floracist powder that fit here. ABH, which nobody talks about because it's average. <laughs> Color Pop, I also bring this one to travel a lot. I like to bring loose powders to travel because they come in small containers like this and they can't break. Then I have Hourglass, I have Codier Spun, Too Faced Born This Way, which I think they're either reformulating this or getting rid of it because I can't really find it anywhere besides the Too Faced website. We have more Pat McGrath and then another Jacqueline. So these are the majority not all, the majority of my loose powders. So next we are on the cube that is below with the cube I just showed you. So here I have, as you can see, all of my eyebrow pencils here. I have quite a large collection. I used to not have so many. I have oh, good old Marc Jacobs. Kosas is one of my absolute favorites. Let's see what else are my most used. I use M Cosmetics a lot. M Cosmetics has an amazing brow pencil. It Cosmetics, this is a great everyday brow pencil. Elf, the most affordable. I would say Elf is a dupe for the It Cosmetics. These two are very similar in shape. Floracist, I've been using this one a lot because look how beautiful it is. Um, I have a NYX. Isam also has my favorite. Urban Decay, Rare Beauty, I'm not a fan of. But these are all my eyebrow pencils. And then towards the, the back, I have an ABH Dip Brow Pomade, my e.l.f. powder, and my Sigma powder. So love powders in the eyebrows. They're actually my preference, but I tend to use pencils more. It doesn't make sense, but that's <laughs> the way it is. And then right next to that, I have all of my eyebrow gels. Eyebrow gels in the last year or two become super duper popular. I used to have like three and it's exploded with all the new ones that have come out. So classic tried and true is always gonna be ABH. I really have been liking the Sigma lately. We have Maybelline, we have M Cosmetics, Kosas, Patrick Daw, which is one of my favorites. Elf, you can't go wrong with. Ardell, Grande Lash. Kosas is my favorite every day. Colourpop, Nude Sticks, Elf, all of those. Benefit, of course, is another classic. And then we have kind of my gels for the brow. So I have a Colourpop and ABH, and nothing beats ABH in my opinion. So eyebrow setting gel is in that drawer right here. And then moving down right next to it, let's get a little closer. These are more or less my drugstore face primers but as you can see i have a gucci sitting right here because that's where it fits but yeah i think the drugstore has some really decent face primers i have a couple revlons that are just okay they aren't my favorites flower beauty i surprisingly really like this cbd one i have a ton of milani ones milani has a great variety of affordable face primers that I think you guys will really love if you find the right one. The Supercharged is probably one of my favorites. It's like a dewy primer. Um, Fourth Ray, I like to use almost as like an everyday moisturizer before makeup. It's beautiful. 
Ooh, this is a good room for Milani. The glow drops. What else do we have? Lots of e.l.f. too. I have my putty e.l.f. primers. These are freaking awesome. I love these. I really do think that these are great dupes for Tatcha. I can be picky about affordable dupes, but these do a really nice job, I think. And then here's another. The mint melt from e.l.f. is great. You can see lots of Milani down here. And then kind of hiding towards the back, I have some Vesca Glow Primers. These are really great. They're very, very soft, uh, but I like them for a subtle glow. So those are my drugstore primers. And then we'll move over here. And I have my more high-end, for the most part, primers. So in this drawer, I have Rare Beauty. Tatcha, this is one of my favorite primers, the Silk Canvas liquid one. I have the Ilia one that I've been using a lot recently. Another Rare Beauty, one of my all-time favorites, is the Armani Luminous Silk. Touch and Soul is a classic if you're looking for something blurring. Ooh, I do love this Good Molecules Silicone-Free Priming Moisturizer. It is great before makeup. This Dior one's not my favorite. Tarte, this one's great for smoothing. Fenty also, in my opinion, has an underrated primer. And then towards the back, you'll see I have my Sephora Collection Primer, my Auric, which I don't use as often as I should. It's just hard because you guys can't really get it. Milk Makeup, which I don't like this, but I use it a lot for reference. Ola Henriksen, and then I think the Urban Decay is another one that's underrated. This All Nighter Ultra Glow Face Primer, really, really nice. So that's kind of my high-end luxury priming drawer. This drawer right here used to have organization in my foundations. I don't really anymore. This was supposed to be the drugstore affordable foundation drawer, but it kind of became a battle of whatever can fit. For example, I have Oxygenetics right here over to the side, but you can also see it's cuddling with ColourPop, Believe, L'Oreal, Maybelline, Haley's Beauty, Catrice. This is one of my favorite full coverage foundations from the drugstore. I also have Koki. Flower Beauty has a great luminous foundation. Elf, this Morphe foundation that I don't really love. <laughs> we have the Catrice True Skin Makeup Revolution, which I could probably declutter because I don't like that. And then a random Too Faced. And then a random Tom Ford. <laughs> then we have Laura Mercier Color Pop. This Milani Glow Tint, which I'm excited to try as summer nears. And then my e.l.f. CC cream, which I really love this for every day. This one is really nice. And I probably should declutter my Haley's. They've reformulated and repackaged. And look at that. That looks oxidized. But not yet. I will, though, actually, probably before I move. And then the final foundation drawer. These are more so of my high-end foundations. It's completely overflowing. Uh, but I have oh, my beloved Milk Skin Tint. This is a great skin tint in my opinion. I really love it. Then we have my Weston and Atelier stick foundation. We have Orsay, which is a little too thick for me. We have Ilia, which is nice and light. It cosmetics, your skin but better is phenomenal. Um, Ilia, I love this guy for mixing makeup forever. I have lots of Dior foundations because I think Dior kills it for the most part in foundation. Estee Lauder, Fenty Beauty, Armani Luminous Silk is one that I've been using for years. Laura Mercier. We have some more. What is this? Kaya Weiss. Huda. Lots of Dior again. NARS Rare. I mean, <laughs> I have lots. And then here are more of like the squeezy tube foundation. So I have my Estee Lauder Futurist Hydra, which always needs mixed for some reason. The Tower 28 Tinted Moisturizer. Chantecaille is a great tinted moisturizer. Glowish, I hate this. I hate Strong, but I don't like it. Gucci. Ooh, Bite Beauty. I haven't used this one in a while, but this is beautiful as well. Armani Neo Nude Hourglass Foundation Stick. I have my KVD hiding down here. Chantecaille. I do not like this Fenty Foundation and Milk Makeup, so... Dang, this drawer is packed. I need to use some more of these foundations. I've been a foundation repeater recently. But yeah, that is this whole cube. We got this one. So let's move over to the next one right here in the middle. So here is like my liner slash lip drawers. So right here along the top, I have my pencil eyeliners. Don't know how in depth I'm gonna go with this, 
but I have Gucci, Natasha Denona, Rem, Pat McGrath. Uh, Wayne Goss has one of my favorite liner pencil formulas. Fenty Beauty's pretty good. These Nabla ones, super underrated. Nabla is just an underrated brand in my opinion. I mean, I have so many liners. Urban Decay, Elf, more Gucci, Chantikai, One Size, Persona. I got the works in here. They're just eyeliner pencils, so they're not that exciting. And then right next to that, you guys know I keep a collection of my ColourPop gel liners. I love these because they have so many colors that I wouldn't want to normally spend a lot of money on. But if I'm doing a colorful look, which isn't too, too often, these are great to complete that colorful look. So I'm always updating these and buying sets of these. So these are really great to have for rainbow options. In the drawer right next to it, I keep these really cool products from Deck of Scarlet. And they are like these duochrome liquid liner and eye toppers. Really neat, an underrated product. I don't use these too much, as much as I would like to admit, but they're really, really nice. And then this last part is where I keep my very modest lip oil collection. So I have my Vizzy Art lip oils, which are beautiful. Then I have my Beauty Pie lip oils. I have the classic Dior lip oil, which really is worth the hype. I do love it. And then a Jaclyn Cosmetics Clear Lip Oil, which is also very beautiful. I have my ColourPop Lippy Pencils. Again, I got a big set of the Lippy Pencils. One year, it was like a vault. So I have pretty much every lip color that ColourPop has for lip liners. These are really nice. They're affordable. They're creamy. And they have all the colors that I need. So I do like these. And then I really became obsessed with lip liners. This whole tall drawer is filled with all of my lip liners. I have everything from Makeup Forever to Pat McGrath to Wayne Goss, Esam, KKW, Melt. I, I'm not going to go through this because it's a mess, but you can see your girl likes lip liners. I do. They're great. And then moving over here, I have my ColourPop limited edition lip duos that they've come out with in various collections. I just love the packaging. You won't catch me throwing these away. Uh, these Rudolph ones that came out this holiday season are some of the prettiest colors, if you ask me. I also have a good old Sailor Moon, the Barbie collection. So that is what is taking up real estate in this drawer. And then the drawer below. How beautiful and uniform is this? These are my ColourPop Fresh Kiss lip products. And there's a couple different formulas. We have like glossy lip stains down here. And then I have lip lacquers, which are more like lip glosses that are pigmented. And these are more lippy stain kind of things. So that is what is in here. And then if you move down here, these are my more affordable lip glosses. So I have a couple ColourPop sets that are taking up space. But towards the back, you'll see I have the Maybelline Lifter Glosses, which are fabulous. And then up front here, various lip glosses. Milani, Kimchi Chic. I have a Sephora collection, which I guess is in drugstore, but it's affordable. I have even more ColourPop. And if you dig down, I have some Olimar Cosmetics down there. So affordable lip glosses is what is in this drawer. And then this drawer down here is all of my Wayne Goss lip stuff. I squeezed a couple color pop as you can see. But my Wayne Goss lip glosses are here. Wayne Goss lipsticks are here. These are from his initial first launch. I didn't pick up his nude collection because I have a lot of stuff. But I do enjoy his lip line. I reach for this drawer more often than I thought I would. And then just below... Nice and uniform is my Odin's Eye Lip Products. These are also very nice. The colors are a little bit more dramatic than I prefer, but they still are very, very nice formula. They're very pretty to look at, though. <laughs> and then towards the bottom here, the drawer is a little bit heavy. Uh, but this is my lip gloss drawer, the higher-end products. This quarter right here are my Fenty lip glosses. And then back here, I have everything from Patrick Ta to Kosas. Bobby Brown, Kylie Cosmetics, Dior, uh, Dose of Colors, Ofra. And then over here on this side, you'll see I have various brands like Nabla, M Cosmetics, mostly M Cosmetics. On Lots of M Cosmetics are lining the bottom. And then over here on this side, 
I just have more. I don't know. These are like smaller sizes. So I have REM. I have my baby MAC lip glasses, which I've been using a lot recently. Huh. I have a Morphe here. Let me put that in this drawer. Then we have Chantikai, Natasha Denona, lots of MAC here, and Bobbi Brown. So that's just my various high-end lipsticks and lip glosses. This one over here. <laughs> Let me zoom out a little bit. That was zooming in. Here we go. So along the top, we have my very cluttered and needs decluttered mascara drawer. Some of these are definitely old, but I have everything from Essence to Sephora, Thrive, Ilia, which I don't like so much, Armani, Tom Ford, lots of Elf, Rare Beauty, Rem, Maybelline, Pat McGrath, Patrick Ta. That's what's in here. Just working through them. This is way too many mascaras than I feel comfortable with being opened, FYI. And then this drawer right here is my eyeliner drawer, like liquid and pot. So I have some Melt Cosmetics, Natasha Denona. MAC is my favorite, tried and true. And then various liquid liners. This drawer has grown like crazy in the last few months. I used to not have very many. And then I got a bug up my butt where I wanted to dry as many liquid liners as possible. My favorite though is the Tom Ford, but I have some Kaja Fenty, ColourPop, lots of drugstore brands to play with. Natasha, oh, Natasha Denona. Uh, just, just a lot. I don't, I'm not going through that. That's boring. And then here, let's get very random with it, uh, is my affordable and drugstore highlight drawer. I have all of my Kaleidos lined up here because I think it looks pretty, but then it's a mess in the back. So I have my Revlon here. These are my Odin's Eye highlights. They're so pretty. Look at this. How beautiful is that? And then I have my e.l.f. right here. That one's beautiful. And then lots of Maybelline Master Chromes in the back that I've been playing with. I believe this is a Milani back here. More Milani. I have some ColourPop. This is expired, but I love the color so much. I can't get rid of it. Essence. Wet n Wild. Oh my gosh, I forgot about Wet n Wild. They haven't done anything recently, I feel like. Pixie, Kimchi Chic. This one is awesome. Color Pops back here. I have some Chic Me Beauty, ZC, Maven, Sydney Grace. So lots, lots of great affordable highlights. You don't need to spend a ton of money for a good highlight. Now, over here in this drawer, let's move a little closer. I keep my bronzers. So these are high-end slash drugstore, whatever would fit. So I have Noble in the back. I don't use this one as often as I should. And then you guys know how good the butter bronzer from Physicians Formula is. Kimchi Chic is an underrated bronzer in my opinion. And it comes in a cute heart. Ivy Cosmetics. One of my favorites is Flower Beauty. This is a great bronzer. Makeup by Mario. I have a baby Fenty one hiding here that I can't peek out. Then we have an Ofra, and I have my Huda Beauty right here. I keep this glowish one, which is supposed to be a setting powder in the store because I like to use it as a subtle bronzer. I have some Tarte from a holiday collection, a Morphe, Kosas, Vesca is one of my favorite bronzers. Then I have a couple Maybelline, Milani, Elf is back here. I think this one is Ilia. No, this one is ColourPop. So just various bronzers. And then right below that, I keep cream bronzers. So here I have like the potted ones. I did have a drawer you saw of the stick bronzers. These are where I keep my potted ones. So I have ABH, Danessa Myricks, Chanel. One of my favorites is definitely Huda Beauty. My Patrick Ta, which I think is a bit overrated, honestly, and hate me. <laughs> Jacqueline Cosmetics, Elf, which is a really great drugstore option. Fenty, which I, I, I predict makes me break out. I'm not sure, though. NARS, and then I have these Kaja trios. These are a mixture of, like, blushes and bronzer and highlight, but it fit good here, so I'll put it here. Um, I have a couple of Tower 28 options. Again, same how I feel about the blushes. These are great for every day, but not for long wear. And then as we scooch over here, I have my luxury highlight drawer. This is my pride and joy, you guys. These are the best. So I have Givenchy, Natasha Denona, Dior, 
Pat McGrath, I have a few of those. Tom Ford, more Pat McGrath bleeding through the back over here. Tom Ford, all of my Dior's. Love my Dior highlights. Like, oh, look at this. Isn't she beautiful? Love my Dior highlights so much. And then towards the front, I have a couple of Chanel highlights because I want to be bougie and love Chanel. So I have a couple of those that I spent way too much money on. And then finally, these are some luxury powder bronzers. Right below the luxury highlights, so I have my NARS Laguna Classic. Scott Barnes is low-key one of my favorite bronzers ever. It's the size of my face and really expensive, but it's great. I have Tom Ford and then an old, dusty, gross <laughs> Marc Jacobs. We have Wayne Goss, some Dior bronzers as well. This is the newer formulation, and these ones I have are a little bit on the older side, but I still like them. I love the way that they smell. They just smell so fresh. And then I have Gucci, uh, Ilia Bomb Bronzer, and then this Chantecaille sometimes I use as a bronzer. It's a blurring powder, but that ain't my color, so sometimes I'll use it as a bronzer. But, oh my gosh, you guys, we hit it. Those were all of the drawers that you're able to see in my videos and see through. So let's go over what we have along the bottom drawers here. Let me adjust my tripod, and you'll get to take a peek. All right, guys, so... We're on to these black drawers. Honestly, I'm considering once I move to get more of these to put them along the bottom because I just love them so much. I think they're great. So at the top drawer here, I keep my most used slash in use eyelashes. So all of these I've put on my eyes at least once. So <laughs> they've been used. Uh, so I have lashes in a box. I have lots of Lily lashes that I love. Sephora collection that I don't really love, but I have them. Coco lashes that I've collected. G-Star. What else do we have? More Lily. Um, another great brand is Black Label. That's a smaller brand. Ardell's. Love me some Ardell lashes. That's for sure. Pure. Just, yeah. Just Lily lashes and Coco lashes and Ardell are kind of the main brands that I use. And then if you look down, this is, let me move this, my setting spray drawer uh, slash I have some, I don't know why these are here. You go up here. <laughs> so lots of setting sprays here that I've accumulated. We have, of course, my beloved Mo Mario Badescu, which gets used a lot. Lots of Milani. Catrice is really great. I have, I need to put the caps on these. Guys, I'm exposing how messy I am. Sephora, we have ColourPop. Oh, I forgot about this one. The Glow Recipe, I've used a good amount of that. Iconic London, Charlotte Tilbury, Elf. What else, what else? Ooh, Lila B, this is pretty. Lila B, yeah, Mac Fix Plus is in the back. So let's move over here on the first drawer. I have more eyelashes. These are ones that have not been used yet. So I have a lot from Salon Perfect and a lot from Ardell. I think how my eyelash preferences has evolved is I prefer the lighter lashes that you're going to find at the drugstore. The more expensive lashes like Lily and Huda, I find are a lot more thick and dramatic, which I used to love. But now I'm into like the drugstore ones. And look, these are still pretty dramatic from Salon Perfect. So Salon Perfect and Ardell do offer more dramatic ones, but I feel like they're not crazy and the bands are still thin. So I've come to the point where I prefer these Ardell. Dells. So I've kept a bigger stock of these. And this is like my junk drawer of random stuff. I have a bunch of like lip scrubs and stuff over here. I keep my backups. These I use in my makeup kit. As you can see, I like have spatulaed them out. But these are the Danessa Myricks cream stuff. I have my sharpeners tape. This drawer is very, very boring. Eyelash glue. I have like stickers and jewels, lots of eyelash glue back here that I'll never uh, run out of, and gosh, just a lot of backups. So total junk drawer over here, nothing too exciting. Go over here. So these drawers are gonna be a little bit more interesting to you guys. So this top drawer has a lot of like my individual glitters and products like that. So up here towards the front, it's kind of hard to see, 
but I keep my loose glitters, which I don't really use too much nowadays. I used to be into the glitter thing, but not anymore. But I have a few from Sydney Grace, a few from Eye Candy Cosmetics, BH. Just a lot of random glitters that I don't use, but I keep around just in case, because you never know. And then here are like random pot shadows, and I have this Papagraph one, which is weird, but I have some, who is this by? J Cat. My Oryx stays here. I have Tom Ford cream shadows that stay here. I have a individual from Chantikai here, okay. <laughs> Hourglass, so lots of my potted lid products. And then towards the back, I don't know if you guys can see, but I keep some of my two ColourPop Super Shock shadows, which I'm going to go through and declutter because I recently got a lot sent to me. But I do love these for quick and easy lid toppers. They are fabulous. Now over towards this back here, I have some Inglot pigments, which are absolutely stunning. If you are looking for a pop, shimmer on the lid you gotta go with Inglot these are great and then you might remember a couple years ago Kathleen Lights came out with a collection of pigments with ColourPop and they are beautiful I openly admit I do not use them as often as I should but I can't find myself to get rid of them <laughs> and then as we get towards this bottom corner here I have more single pot products like I have these uh, touch and soul ones which are really gorgeous the metal is sparkling foil I need to use these more um, I have my Kaja eye trios which are great love these they're great great quality I have a one size liquid glitter I have the tarts along the bottom I don't know if you guys can see but these explode I've decluttered a lot of them recently <gasps> I forgot about these the Charlotte Tilbury eye glitter I need to put that with my Charlotte Tilbury stuff. What is this? What are you? A uh, Chanel liner cool. That's not where it's supposed to be. L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadow. Really, really nice individual product. So lots of my individual products I keep in here. And then the drawer below really is just a continuation of that. So I have more individual eye products. So towards the bottom here, I have individual pressed eyeshadows. So I have my MAC Dazzle shadows, I have Chanel, I have a few NARS, Pat McGrath, Natasha Denona, Makeup Forever. So these are all of my individual potted eyeshadows. And then right here are individual liquid shadows. So I have Armani, the Natasha Denona, which are really great, Danessa Myricks, which is good, but not as good as the Natasha Denona. I have some ZC ones, which are awesome. Who remembers these from Huda Beauty? I have one from Becca as well, these dual-sided ones. Flower Beauty has one of my favorites from the drugstore. All the individual glitters. And then back here, it continues as well. They're mostly Stila. This used to be dedicated to Stila until my collection grew. So now I have some Chanel popped back here and Rem Beauty, but these uh, Stila's I need decluttered often because they dry out all the time. Once I run out of these though, I'm done buying the Stila's. <laughs> and then here are like, you can see the cream squishy shadows. So I have Maven Beauty. Sydney Grace has a fabulous, fabulous formula, um, as well as Vesca. Vesca's formula for these squeezy tubes, freaking awesome. Alme is a great one from the drugstore as well. I don't think they sell these anymore, but they're great. So those are the squishy ones. And then towards the back, I have like the pencil style shadow sticks. So just lots of these. So some from ColourPop, Beauty Pie, Laura Mercier has to be hidden back here somewhere. So stick eyeshadows for the most part going to be found down here. Cream shadows. And then I have some lemon head glitters here as well but that's the whole that's it <laughs> guys we did it that was every single drawer in my main component we're gonna go through a different areas in my room now that i also keep makeup but this is like the main body of my collection okay so this might look a little junky but you might have noticed this storage system here already this was like ten dollars from ikea you can see it's not even really holding up very well but let me show you how i store my stuff so here i have samples Lots and lots of samples. If there's ever a category of makeup I want to try, I grab my samples from here. I love getting the free samples. Sometimes I'll put these in my makeup kit. Like This is great to put in my makeup kit because it has all these colors available. So lots of little samples here from everywhere. So that's... 
that's what's in there. And then the drawer below, I did not know what to do with these holiday sets. A lot of these I'm going to give away, but they take up so much space. They didn't fit in my giveaway drawers. So I put them here. So we have lots of like Bare Minerals and Laura Mercier holiday set. I'm to go through and decide what I want to keep and what I don't. And then next to this fire hazard of cord systems that we have, these are where I am currently keeping all of my Tom Ford eyeshadow palettes as well as like the velvet bags that they come in is over there. Yeah, I, I have a lot of Tom Ford shadows. So that's where I keep those. And if you turn, I was gonna clean this for you guys, but I'm gonna be real. These are never ever clean, <laughs> but these are makeup products that I'm in process of testing or want to be tested. So these are from the container store. They're a lot cheaper than the acrylics in my units that you saw. They feel cheaper though. They're actually quite unsteady, but they certainly really do get the job done of these. So these are products that I feel like I want easy access to. So along the top, it's really messy from all the videos that I've been filming. But I have like my ColourPop pressed powders that I'm testing, lots of boxes, just things I want within easy reach. Eyeshadow palettes I'm currently testing and using and honestly it needs cleaned up, it's a mess. And these, so these are like palettes I have on standby if I need a specific color, but honestly it's just junky. <laughs> That's the way I can describe this stuff, it is junky. And then as we get into the drawers, again these are just products I want to use. So these are in line for my next product updates video. I don't know if you can see, but these are like products that I've recently been testing a lot and talking a lot about on my channel. So these are within easy reach. These are stuff from Sephora that I've picked up in the last few months that I also want to reach for a lot because my channel, I review a lot of products that are sold at Sephora. So I like these within easy reach. And then down here, this rug is in the way. I have luxury and high-end makeup that I have not yet tried that I really, really want to. I have Hourglass, Armani, Laura Mercier, some Jouer and Nude Sticks, Paja, M Cosmetics. So these are on standby to be tried. Then as you move over, I have a whole bare minerals drawer of one day, one of these days, I will get to a full brand breakdown of bare minerals. So I have that here just so I'll never forget that video idea. And then here are more products that I want to try out soon. So I have some magnetic lashes. I've been wanting to try those. So I have a few different brands to compare. And then I have just some more products to try. Chantecaille, Wonder Beauty, Kimchi Chic Palette, Tarte. So these are more products that I need to try. You guys know the crazy launches that ColourPop has. So it's hard to keep track. So I keep a lot of, let me move this. So I keep a lot of ColourPop stuff that I need to try. A couple of you have asked me about these palettes. I have not yet tried them, but uh, they look so fun from the Mandalorian collection, but lots of ColourPop stuff to try. And I really do give away a lot of the ColourPop stuff, but there's still stuff that needs love. Okay, let's move up to these drawers right here. So these are drugstore products that I want to try. I have e.l.f. up here, Milani here, and then Maybelline is in the back. So these are the drugstore stuff that I need to work through. Here's part two of drugstore products that I need to try. So I have Flower here, Essence here, and Revlon here, you guys. This is an organized mess. Like, even though it looks really chaotic, this is how I stay organized for my videos. This is what keeps my job intact and then here's a couple other products that i've received in pr recently i have the new iconic london blushes so this is a drawer that i recently emptied that i'm starting to fill but yeah every month or so i go through this entire section and i put products into my collection that i'm done with and i put new products in here that i want to play with so that's how i keep my videos and stuff organized so this is under construction right now this is like my holiday decor that i need to get out of here this is my desk that i used in the background of my videos for the holidays. I get asked about this. So I got this little spinny thing from Home Goods, and then the brushes in here are the brand Blinged Brushes. And that gets us to what is inside this drawer. This is a drawer that I recently reorganized to be my lip drawer. Majority of my lip stuff. This used to have my luxury eyeshadows, but now I love this, love this, love this. It holds main body of my lip stuff which I really love. So 
it's a little rough in the organization, but here I keep, well, by the way, this desk is from Ikea. These are just from the Dollar Tree to help me organize, super cheap. So I have luxury lipsticks here, um, Ford, Chanel, Pat McGrath, Natasha Denona, it's all in here. And then here are like more of my stick lips. There's some variation in here, but it started off as that. I'm starting to run out of room. I need to declutter some. And then here are most of my high-end lipsticks. Again, some of it just fits where it fits, but but Too Faced, and then I also snuck some Milani in here, so it, maybe it's not all high ends. Just lipsticks, blue lipsticks are back here. For the most part, ranging from most expensive to least expensive. Here I just have mostly collection of products along the front. So you can see here, most of this is the Revlon Colorstay Light Crayons. And then as we work our way down, BK Beauty, NARS, Kylie Cosmetics, liquid lipsticks are here, and then these three, for the most part, are going to be my liquid lipsticks. So I have M Cosmetics, Dose of Colors. Here are Ofra, Vesca, Jacqueline Cosmetics, Rare Beauty. And then over here towards the back are my affordable liquid lipsticks. Mostly you're going to find Maybelline Superstay because these are the best liquid lipsticks. But I'm going to let you take a quick look because this drawer is jam-packed, you guys, of beautiful lippies. I love this drawer. It is so satisfying. So, highly recommend these from the Dollar Tree. You can't beat that for organization. So, up here, I just have a lot of my perfumes and stuff on this cake holder that I got for my wedding and didn't end up using. I keep my ABH palettes down here and just some random stuff. Now, if you go down here, I keep most of my palettes. I'm not going to go too in-depth with this drawer. If you want to see it, check out my most recent eyeshadow palette declutter, and you'll see really what's in the drawers. But just a quick rundown, I keep my more expensive face palettes up here on the top. And then as we go down, by the way, this is from Ikea. It's amazing for palettes. These are my more affordable-ish, give or take, face palettes. The ones that I'm not reaching for quite as often. Going down, these are some more pricey eyeshadow palettes. Anything from Huda to Melt, Norvina, lots of those. And then it goes down. So here are high-end eyeshadow palettes. Sydney Grace, Too Faced, Urban Decay, all of that. You go down, I have a lot of like indie brands in here, Odin's Eye, Kaleidos, Colourpop, all of that's going to be in here. This drawer is jam-packed, I must say. And then bottom drawer, this rug is in the way, but affordable eyeshadow palettes, BH, ALF, all of that. So that's where I keep my palettes for the most part. And then if you turn, you have my pride and joy. Charlotte Tilbury, one of my favorite, favorite brands. So this is an Impressions Vanity Portable Vanity. Really depressed because I'm not bringing this with me when I move because I don't have the space, but I'm keeping it in my house just in case I want it. How cute is this? So you can pull these legs up and transport it. It still is quite heavy, but I really, really love it. And I decided to make a dedicated space to my Charlotte Tilbury stuff. <laughs> So I have my lips over here, iPods over here, liner, stuff like that. And you can even lift it up another notch, just like that. And then here's like the main variety of products for complexion, flawless filter, foundations. Complexion is all here, pretty much. And then along the back, you'll see all of my Charlotte Tilbury quads that fit perfectly in this vanity. So sad I have to say goodbye. I'm telling you guys, when I move, my makeup room is not going to be impressive at all. Because it's not even going to be a room. I just have to make best with the space that I have. But then here on these tiers, I keep palettes, basically. Just eye palettes, face palettes, all of that. I absolutely love this storage system for Charlotte Tilbury. And the reason that I chose specifically to put Charlotte Tilbury here is because Charlotte Tilbury is just so aesthetically pleasing to look at. So I liked it all uniform here. Okay, I'm not gonna go through this, but I'm gonna do a whole dedicated video to my luxury eyeshadow palette shelf. So stay tuned for that. But basically I have some luxury foundations I'm currently using, some Pat McGrath stuff, and my favorite jewelry that I made. 
And then at the bottom, all my luxury eyeshadows that I love. So I'm going to do a whole video on this shelf very, very soon. So you'll see that. Okay, guys, final home stretch. This is the last portion of where I keep my makeup. And this is from Ikea. It holds receipts and stuff for videos at the top, tech stuff at the bottom. But in the middle, I keep all of the eyeshadow palettes that I play with when I don't know what to use. I do a ton of palette videos on my channel. I actually need to go through and declutter some of these because some of these are just never going to get used. But I have a few BH that never got the love that they deserve. I have Sigma, ColourPop, Sonars, my Glam Light palettes. So I need to go through and cleanse this, but... Yes, this is dedicated to palettes that need love, <laughs> and I need to give it to them. Ooh, you guys, all right, there we have it. That was my makeup collection, how and where I store everything. I'm sorry if I didn't go as in-depth as maybe you wanted me to. I mean, my mouth is dry, <laughs> and I just have so much. So I just wanted you to see how and where I stored my makeup, what was inside the drawers that you see in all of my videos and all of that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and seeing my crazy makeup collection. Um, I'm gonna miss having all this space. I definitely am going to need to downsize a little bit, especially like with my storage and stuff, because you guys, uh, if you miss it, I've mentioned moving like five times in this video because it's the only thing on my mind right now. But I am moving into a one bedroom apartment with my husband. So we're actually, our living space is going to be my office, like half of it. And it's not the biggest space either. So I am trying to come up with ways that are space saving and don't look quite so cluttered. So you guys will be along with me on that journey too. We're totally going to change it up to more basic Ikea Alex Stein drawers pretty much. So I am taking in this beauty room and all my storage. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.